This is Twit. So, uh, hey, hey, ho, ho. Windows 11. What's going on? What's the latest? Feature. What do you mean? Why, why have you heard something? We got what, some what? packs. We got some packs, baby. What? Yeah. So, uh, I think anybody who's been using Windows for a while will think of these as the uh, Microsoft, what they used to call them, the fun toys. The, <laughs> the power oh, no, toys. Power those. toys. No, no, no. Actually, you know what? Though, before we jump into this, Mary Jo, here's some here's some uh, terminology from the past. Right? Yes. We've everyone is familiar with service packs. Most people have at least heard of feature packs and option packs, right? But Microsoft used to use terminology. They used to have uh, uh, they used to have uh, things called hot fixes, right? We remember that, yep. obviously. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. but they, all, they used to also have something called GDRs. Does that term sound familiar? And I, something, something I, release, right? Yeah, generally deployable release, I think, or general deployable, yeah. or de deplorable release. Deplorable release. Deplorable, yeah. <laughs> but I, I guess like um, service packs evolved to become GDRs. Yeah. Hotfixes were always GDRs. And the point of GDRs was that they didn't change any of the functionality. They just fixed bugs, mm -hmm. right? Because some early service packs added new features yeah. and customers complained and they walked away from that. So I've been confronting right. the past lately. So I've been... Inundated yeah. by all these terms from the past, uh, in the, over the yeah. past few weeks. So. Yeah. GDRs, hotfixes, service packs. Yeah. Now we have yeah, all this there was junk. A, do you remember that there was a hot debate back in the day about should fe should feature packs have new features or not have new features? <laughs> right. Do you remember that? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. Also, yeah, the, the notion of like roll-ups, which we still kind of yeah. talk about. Um, yeah. And uh, anyway, yeah, I just, I, it's, it's interesting how the language has changed. Um, yeah. And the debate continues. But I got to tell you, they're escalating. They, <laughs> they are. are escalating. Oh, man. So, Leo, I don't know if you were here when we found this out, but we heard from Panos a couple weeks ago that we're going to get new features for Windows 11 in the mainstream channel in February. Yes. I, we, we discussed okay. that the week okay. I left. Yes. That's why I left. Right. Yeah. Okay. And then <laughs> you right. left because you're like, enough. Enough. I don't want the new yeah. features. I've had it with these people. <laughs> well, there was a somewhat of a debate about uh, where you're going to get yeah. them. Are you going to get something like How them? are you going to get them? Gonna be? Right. Yeah. 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 So right. then we kind of, we, Paul and I, and I think some other people too, have just said, okay, it's going to be a cumulative update. That's how they're going to roll this out. Right. And then they put out a blog post <laughs> last week that really, I think, I think they thought they were clarifying things, but it just, it made me just like grab my head and start screaming when I saw this blog post because they said, okay, there's well, three ways you're going to get these. I mean, updates. A plus for consistency on their part, right? I mean, <sighs> Yeah. I, I I, you often caution me not to expect anything to change. <sighs> yeah. And uh, that's this is because this is why. All right. So there's three way three ways. So we already know you could get a feature update this year in the fall. Like that's that we know is supposedly on the roadmap. There's three other ways though that you could get updates to Windows 11 in the mainstream At channel. At least three. At least three, yeah. right. So we already knew <laughs> yeah. about feature experience packs. This was something that people started finding out about in 2020 and Microsoft wouldn't talk about. Like when they were getting Windows 10 on their system, <clears> they noticed they were getting something called a feature experience pack. And when we went to Microsoft and said, what is this you're putting on people's machines? They said, no comment. Um, so right. later we found out that feature experience pack is the way they were going to deliver some features independent of the OS itself. So the first feature pack had things like the updated snipping tool, a text input panel, um, shell suggestion user interface, just oh. like a random collection of stuff. It, just right? sorry to interject, but a, a little yeah, um, point to this is if you go into the settings app and go to system about, it actually calls out the Windows feature experience pack level that you're at separately from the mm -hmm. OS version. And the yeah. reason for that is you might be in Windows 10 version 21H1, 2004, or whatever the version numbers are. You could even be on Windows 11 something, and those experience feature or feature experience pack numbers might be the same. Like mm -hmm. you'll be on the same level regardless yeah. of the OS version. That speaks to the importance of or to the point of it, which is uh, updating the OS outside of the versioning. Right. Right. They want to keep everyone up to date. Right. So you so. think, okay, feature experience packs, that's how they're going to deliver updates outside of the US. Oh, no, there's more. Last fall, <laughs> October, they put a blog post out that talked about online service experience packs. Another one of these ones, we went back to them and said, so what's that? And how is that different feature experience pack? No comment. 
right? So they didn't want to talk about it then. All they'll still say about this is another way we're going to deliver features independent of the operating system. Uh, they also did say um, feature experience packs can deliver broad improvements over multiple areas of Windows. Online service experience packs delivering improvements for a specific experience. And an example, the new Microsoft, Microsoft account settings page that we talked about last week. Right. Okay, so there's two. We knew about those two. Then last week in the blog post, they add a third, which we had not heard about to date. Right. Web experience packs, not the same as online service experience packs, not the same as feature experience packs. Those other two go through Windows Update. The web experience pack makes you take your update through the Microsoft Store. Uh, so they said, these. this is another way we're going to update features, but this one's going to make you go through the store. Uh, and an example of something that will be delivered this way is the widgets experience. Right. Okay. <laughs> Which I speculated was the case, but you, yes, you got did. them to confirm this. I did. Right. I How do you get them to the talk? How does that work? Here's what, no, here's what I did. I saw the wording and I said, so you guys have never talked about this before. You don't even have a link in your blog post about what this is. So what is it? And I wait and wait and wait and wait <laughs> and wait. And then they come back sometimes with some words. And that was the case this time. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now Patch Tuesday came and went this week. Some people thought maybe we would get the new features on Patch Tuesday or um, in conjunction with the patches. That did not happen. So I went back to them yesterday and I said, right. so no new features yet. Are we going to see those still this month? Yes, you will. More details to come. That's it. Well, they still have the C week, so to speak. We do. Uh, we do. Next week. Yep. That's right. And tech, I mean, technically, C I guess they could. S E A. Well, what if is you, C week? Uh, yeah. the, the letter, letter C. So C. <laughs> the B week. B what week is, is when they. Street? What is. What? It's the first Tuesday of the month. I don't really think they have an A week, but if they did, it would be the oh, first no, Tuesday. They do. Because of the Patch they Tuesday. They do have an A week. Patch Tuesday is B week. That's right. Yeah. And then C week. A week was Office. Yeah. Office was A. Patch Tuesday was B. C was. Um, Preview of features coming in the next Patch okay. Tuesday. Right? So B okay. C week is the Patch Tuesday, the co the conjuring that just happened. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the okay. It's the yeah. Will C week. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I got it. Yeah. yeah. What, one of my followers on Twitter yesterday said we need to also have after Patch Tuesday weeping Wednesday because there's always patches <laughs> exactly. that break. And <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. So we went back and forth about what Windows Weekly was weeping Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> we'll cry over a bear together, everybody. We will. Exactly. Yeah. So that's all we know right now. We know the vehicles. There may be, there may be more kinds of packs that we don't know about. Like these are the three right. that we now know about. Um, they seem to just keep multiplying like rabbits. Um, feature pack, service pack, this, that. Um, when these come out in February, it'll be interesting to see how and where the different features that they talked about show up, like which ones show up where, right? Yeah. We, we know widgets yep. will be widgets will be a web a web service pack. Um, Notepad, the new Notepad and the new Windows Media Player also through the store. So I guess web service pack. Well, those I think those are just app updates. They're just apps. You know? Okay. Yeah, those are just, just separate. Apps. Then the other features that they talked about, like. Um, a, what was the other one they talked about? Um, making it easier to juggle different windows or something? I was, I was, um, I couldn't figure out what that was, but <laughs> <laughs> when they described yeah, it, I'm I like, know. I don't even know yeah, what that is. I, I um, yeah. I mean, in uh, a way, I, Android apps. Sorry, I, on I mean, it doesn't, doesn't matter like how they're delivered in a way. I, I, I guess it doesn't in a way. It might only matter to the people that are seeking these things. Uh, if you hear right. that some update is out and, you know, if only right. you had one place to look for everything, how convenient would that be? But no, you know, you I know guess, who it matters to is admins, right? Like <laughs> they're like, yeah, okay, these sure. are going to come in in all different places on the machines that we're looking at, right, and so right. now we got to figure out where they are. And is it, this is pretty much how malware is delivered, right? Different attack vectors. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like sometimes I, I. I'm mad they don't give us enough detail, granular level detail in blog posts. And sometimes I'm like, do you really need to tell everybody how you're making the sausage? I don't know. Do you? Right, right. Right? <laughs> well, it makes them, it, I guess it makes it sound like they're doing something. 
when yeah. anyone who's using Windows 11 can tell you they haven't done anything. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, I, I guess it's on the way or whatever. Yeah. But even those February updates they promised, with the exception of a preview version of the Android App Store, are not monumental in any way. And even that App Store experience is not great, you know. Right. I've been using the re uh, release preview channel. It hasn't changed since last, whenever that came out in preview yeah. first, I remember or whatever. It's just, you know, there's only a handful of interesting apps. It's mostly garbage games. Yeah. Um, those apps, by the way, speaking of updating, update through that Amazon app, not through the store. So right. you have to deal with mm -hmm. another uh, set of notifications, another set of updating uh, routines, you know, whatever. And, okay, fine, I, whatever, but... It's not that store-in-a-store store thing I think we were promised back in June last year.